What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another video showcasing my deep conditioners, my favorite deep conditioners to be exact. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Before we get into the video, make sure you like this video. Make sure you comment down below if any of these um, deep conditioners you've tried, do you plan on trying it? Do you trust my recommendation for them? Um, I hope this video really, you know, helps you on your natural hair journey, wherever you are in it, whether it's later into the game or if it's early. No particular order. I'm just going to, I'm going to tell you guys which ones are my top ones, which ones I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards and which ones that's more reputable in the community right now. But we're going to start with something that I did a video on. A, I think I did a haul video of this product or I showcased it on my Instagram. If you haven't followed me there, make sure you follow me. It's underscore naturally Zandra. To those who have supported me, if you're new, make sure you go follow me. So the first hair mask is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Hair Mask. Now, this is what it looks like. I tried this whole curl enhancing smoothly. I tried the shampoo. I'm dropping stuff. <laughs> I tried the shampoo. I tried the conditioner. And I never knew they had a mask. This mask is extremely hydrating for my hair. My hair loves this. It does not love the shampoo and conditioner, but it does love the curl enhancing smoothie. And now it loves this. So this is one of my favorite ones. I only used it once so far. So it's relatively new in my collection, but I would highly recommend you go pick that up if you struggle with um, dryness, this is the truth. But I would recommend if you are low porosity to use this with like a steam cap or um, I have a hot head cap that I put on. The next one is the Moisture Miracle by African Pride Moroccan Clay and Shea Butter Detox and Soften Heat Activated Mask for Natural Curls, Coils and Curls. This is what it looks like. Bam. This one is amazing. Um, I would recommend the same. If you want the best, it would be best under a hooded dryer. The smell is very, it smells very good. This smells very good too, by the way, but this smells heavenly to me. Um, it smells very heavenly. It smells like shea butter. Shea butter mixed with like a fruit. I can't pick up which fruit it is, but this is good if I need, if I use, I like to use stuff in collections. I don't know about you guys, but like if I'm using the African Pride Moisture Miracle Aloe and Coconut Water Tangle and Condition Pre-Shampoo. That's what it looks like. If you didn't check out my shampoo video, that will be before this one too. So I'll drop the link or I'll put a card so you guys can check it out. If I use that pre-shampoo, the shampoo by them, and then do this after, my hair feels amazing. I kind of mirror it to the Pantene Go series for my hair. When I use that Moisture Boost shampoo, the Moisture Boost conditioner, the leave-in, and the oil. Bravo, same feeling with this line. When I use all these together, perfect results. So yeah, that's another favorite of mine. Another one is Shea Moisture. It's the Raw Shea Butter Deep Treatment Mask with sea kelp and argan oil for dry, damaged hair, heal, grow, and strengthen, sulfate-free and color safe. This is a staple in the natural community. Uh, a lot of us have used this. A lot of us may have forgot about this, but this is the truth. Um, I actually didn't, I liked it at first, but then I went through this phase with my hair where my hair didn't like it. And I believe it was because of split ends, to be honest. I believe my hair was getting too many split ends and that's why it didn't perform as good. But once I got rid of those split ends again, which is recently, my hair got a, a huge trim huge and then i trimmed it a little bit after i went to the stylist so check out that video too that's on my channel but yeah this one is uh, uh this is this, this is bay right here this is one of the top faves um yeah definitely i would say if i had to choose between this or the coconut and Cur curl and shine hair mask that one is more moisturizing this one is like more of a balance i feel like it's moisturizing, but it's not overly moisturizing. It's like, it feels some of that protein in there. The next one that's my favorite is the Cream of Nature Pure Honey Moisture Replenish and Strength Hair Mask. I would pair this or make this adjacent to 
the Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Hair Mask by Shea Moisture. This is very similar in the way it makes my hair feel afterwards. It gives immense amount of slip, immense amount of moisture, but I think it works better with heat. So make sure you add some type of heat with it. Uh, and the last and final deep conditioner that I love is the Miel Babasu and Mint Deep Conditioner. This is a protein and moisture replenisher for dry and damaged hair. I remember when I first tried this, I'm not a fan of the smell. The smell, I am not a fan of. I don't like that mint smell at all. At all, like, I hate smelling this, but if I need like a booster, a boost of like protein, if I feel my hair is weaker and breaks off easier, I'm having more breakage, I go to this because in comparison to the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Yogurt deep conditioner that's like protein, that one is too much protein for my hair. Specifically, when I tried that, my hair was brittle as can be after I used that. This is a good balance in between when I need something that's moisturizing but not like overly protein. For my protein sensitive hair, this works wonders. So overall, that's, you know, five deep conditioners that I love out of my stash. I hope uh -huh. you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, make sure you like this video. Make sure you share it with your friends if they may benefit from any of these. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.